Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. And if you're curious about why this is, I did recently upload a video just explaining a little bit about why I don't read reversals. I will link it at the end for you. Um, but let's get right into this. Spirit, how is this person feeling? about Scorpio. How does this person feel about Scorpio? All right, so we're getting the Page of Wands. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign. You don't have to be, though. There's someone who is very interested in you. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> lots of passion here. So lots of fire energy. Um, this person is very, very interested in you. I feel like they're very physically attracted to you as well. Um, this could be a connection that's, you know, started off physical or starting physical if it's brand new right now. I feel like this person's very uh, flirtatious with you. There's a lot of, um, I just heard banter. <laughs> I don't usually use that word. So um, if that's you, I picked up on that. But yeah, I just feel like this person likes talking to you. There's like kind of like this back and forth that the two of you do. Um, very lighthearted, very, uh, very sexual, I will say. Um, yeah, this person's definitely interested in you physically. Yep, that, yep. <laughs> um, anything else for how this person feels? Thank you. Look at that, the King of Wands. Like, you can't make this up. This person is just, this person wants to see you in bed. They think about it all the time. I feel like if you've already um, been physical with this person, they can't stop thinking about it. If you haven't yet, they like fantasize about it. I feel like this person, um <laughs> wants to climb you like a tree that's what i just heard um so this is a this person's energy is really funny they're very light-hearted they're very they're like a big kid at heart um but yeah there's definitely a lot of attraction here between the two of you scorpio um yeah yeah okay well, let's see their actions towards i think you get the picture let's see their actions towards you in the next uh two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards scorpio please spirit we're getting the six of wands the queen of cups tell me more tell me more about this person's actions the nine of pentacles interesting i feel like Oh, the tower scorpio energy this is going to come out of nowhere here i feel like um i feel like this person could be like a known bachelor or bachelorette someone who's uh kind of been on their own maybe like a party animal too is kind of what i'm getting here this is someone who i feel hasn't been in a serious commitment um in a while so this is going to come out of nowhere i do feel like this person wants to offer you um, more than just physical here though like they're definitely like, that's how they feel I feel like initially they see you and they're like oh my gosh like physically you're just like off the charts to this person but it, it looks like coming towards you here like they do want to offer you more than just that they want to open up to you be a little bit more vulnerable here with this queen of cups um, I feel like this person could be in the public eye they don't have to be they could just be like well known at what they do um, but this is going to come out of nowhere here um, Scorpio, tell me about the tower. So expect the unexpected here. The five of pentacles, tell me more. The sun. 
so interesting leo energy here i feel like what's happening here is that this person because they're um so used to being on their own very very independent like i said could be like a known bachelor or bachelorette i feel like when they meet you and when the two of you connect there's almost like this realization that the reason they haven't been able to connect deeper with people is this fear of abandonment this fear of being left behind this fear of you know connecting with someone catching feelings and then them leaving right so i feel like you're unintentionally shedding light on some of this person's fears um, this could also be you here scorpio but it just comes out of nowhere it just feels like out of nowhere it's like whoa like i never looked at myself that way or i never thought of myself in that way there's like this huge realization it feels like um so i also feel like that's why this person wants to offer you more than just physical i feel like they're they're grateful even if they don't say it for kind of realizing these things about themselves um it's like beginning the process of really reflecting on like how they are in relationships what they want their patterns, maybe some past experiences that have influenced them or impacted them. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like this person, like I said, they could be in the public eye here. Um, I feel like they're really good at what they do, whatever that is for work. I feel like they're very independent, but this is someone who I feel has never really taken the time to reflect deeper. Excuse me, and now they are. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at that. It's death Scorpio energy. So there's transformation here, right? It's it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's like the old idea of how they are and how they want to be dying off and a new beginning starting here. Because the Queen of Cups is the queen of love, right? She's, she's very empathic. She's very intuitive. She's very understanding, loving. I feel like this person wants to come towards you with that energy, even though their initial thought is like, oh my gosh, like... I just want to get Scorpio in bed. They're realizing it's more than that. Um, and this is going to come out of nowhere. So just be aware of that here. And this could be someone that you know is in the public eye. Kind of you would like, oh, I never thought they'd be like into me like that. Or they've just, they would never settle down. Or like, I feel like there's like this narrative around their character in their community or in their space among their friends that they would just never be that person. But something here is different. Um, but I think it's important to see their intentions. So let's see, what is this person's intentions with Scorpio? We have the Six of Swords. Tell me more. We have Strength, Leo energy. We have the Five of Swords, interesting. <clears throat> they could be an air sign, they don't have to be. The Seven of Pentacles. You're literally getting five, six, seven here. So things are lining up. They're happening exactly as they're supposed to. I feel like this person is trying to move away from self-sabotage, right? Self-sabotage is, again, it's like if you feel like you're getting too close to someone and then you cut them off, right? Or you start fighting with them for no reason because you're scared that they're going to leave you first, right? So I feel like this person is trying to do better here. They're trying to move past that. It's, it's taking a level of vulnerability and bravery here to step out of that comfort zone. But I feel like they're really looking at, like, what do I want to invest in? Um... Let me just pull on the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Look at that. I'm telling you, Scorpio, there's something different about you here. Yeah, you have like a healing energy here for this person. Um, they could be an Aquarius. They don't have to be. They're thinking about settling down. And I'm telling you, this is not something that this person has, has really thought about before. I think they thought that they were going to be like a lifetime bachelor or a lifetime bachelorette. And I feel like the people around them also thought that. Um, so there, there's something different here. This, you know, this is my soulmate card that I believe we have multiple soulmates, but soulmates are those people that, um, you just feel drawn to, you just feel like familiar. Um, there's a sense of like, I already know you and it's because on a soul level you already do, right? Um, before you came to the earthly plane, you decided we're going to meet up at this point in our lives and we're going to help each other grow in this way, right? So this person just feels like there's something different here about you. Um, they're trying to get away from old patterns, old beliefs, and they're really thinking about what do I want to invest in here? Um, 
what do I want to put the work into? And I feel like it's it and if this sounds too good to be true scorpio i always say this if you're hearing this you're like there's no way there's no way i could be that person for someone there's no way this could happen then so be it right because we have to remember that our thoughts um are, are powerful we are powerful so if this person's right around in your energy and they're about to tell you oh my gosh like you know let's get together what have you but in your mind you're like this will never happen this will never happen it's like you're literally energetically pushing it away right so just be aware of that um, I don't know who needed to hear that but I just feel like it's important to remember that whatever you believe I, I feel like the saying uh, seeing is believing is incorrect it's actually believing is seeing right so whatever you believe whatever you uh, put your energy into that's what will come about but this person sees you as a soulmate here as someone that they're they want to invest in that they want to do things differently here um, very powerful here, Scorpio. So let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Scorpio and this person, please? <clears throat> two of Swords, indecision. You're getting two, two, back to back, yeah, and the Hermit. I feel like um, this could be both of you. I feel like, you know, if the both of you have been single for a long time, or there's just, there's there's heavy thinking about this, right? Again, this the Hermit is all, Virgo energy is all about soul searching, right? Let me take a time out. Let me like take a step back. Let me think about what I really want here. Um, where do I want this to go? You know, can I trust this person? Can I trust myself? Um, you know the changes that come with being in a commitment am i ready for that like all these different things right as i'm saying that the sun is coming out here i feel like you're gonna your things are gonna come to light right so taking that time to think about it there's nothing wrong with that um and i feel like you're gonna gain clarity is what i'm getting from that as well so leo virgo scorpio um, heavy leo and heavy scorpio energy in here but also aries sagittarius um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a little bit of air. Um, anything else for the potential outcome between Scorpio and this person? Look at that. You're getting the five of pentacles again, right? So I feel like there's just, there could be fear of abandonment on both ends here. Um, is this person going to leave, right? Are they, are they going to get close or I'm going to get close with them and then they'll take off? Um, this could be based on what's happened to you before or just maybe people around you, you've seen it happen. Um, so there's just kind of like this energy of taking a step back with that hermit energy. Um, look at, you're getting the exact same thing, the hermit again. Right, so I feel like what's gonna happen is that this is gonna come about. I feel like the chemistry between the two of you is going to be like off the charts. Um, this is gonna be really tr like transformative for this person. But here's the thing, when someone's been on their own for so long, they could meet the right person, but it, it takes time for that transition. So you're getting the hermit twice here, two different decks, right? This is, again, taking that time to be alone, to reflect, to think about what you want. Um, so again, I feel like this is both of you. I feel like you're both doing that. Um, how will Scorpio know who this person is? How will Scorpio know who this person is? Please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. The Queen of Swords. They could be um, an air sign. Someone who is very smart, I feel, very intelligent, um, but could use a lot of logic instead and i always say this like logic plays a plays an important role in how we navigate the world but our emotions are just as important right um this person is guarded they have their walls up this is a wounded warrior energy someone who's been through some things someone who um you know oftentimes when people keep other people at a distance it's it's to protect themselves right um i feel like humans are wired for connection but if we've been hurt before or we've been through experiences that tell us it's not safe to let people in um then you kind of distance yourself right i'm so sorry there's a very loud train going by i hope that's not too bad um so i feel like this person is very very smart but they could rely on their logic a little bit more than Maybe you're hoping, especially as a water sign, I feel like you're very in tune with your emotions, Scorpio. Um, so just be aware of that. This person is is guarded um, and they're good with their words. They're witty. But we got the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, this is new. 
This is new, new, and the high priestess at the bottom. They could be a Pisces. They don't have to be. Um, but this is something new, something fresh here, something that's going to feel like it could even, like I said, it could even feel like it's too good to be true. So if it's too good to be true in your mind, then so be it, right? Just remember that. But let's see if there's any hidden messages for you here, Scorpio. Any hidden messages for Scorpio, please? Thank you. I want to feel that way again. So this could be someone who did get really close with a, a, a past person and got really hurt. So it's just closed themselves off. This could be you as well. I, again, I just feel like as humans, we're wired for connection. Um, but it can be scary. It's a risk. It's a risk to open up. I'm keeping secrets from you, and I hope you don't find out. I will pull a card on that. Any other messages? I will wait for a sign from you. So this could be someone, Scorpio, who's already in your energy, who's just kind of waiting for that go-ahead here, because um, they do find you very, very attractive. Um, what is this I'm keeping secrets? What is I'm keeping secrets from you, please, Spirit? The Eight of Wands. I feel like they just want to move things forward here with you. Like, yeah, but they're nervous. They can't stop thinking about this. I feel like this is someone who's already in your energy, but you don't even know that they feel this strongly, Scorpio. Because on the outside, I feel like they come off like someone who's really good on their own. Again, bachelor, bachelorette, just, you know doing their thing, having a good time, when on the inside, I feel like they really do want this connection. They want to move things forward here, um, but they're nervous about it. Interesting. All right, any messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Thank you. We have shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. There's that tower energy again. So, yeah, this is a big change. And out of nowhere, any other messages for Scorpio, please? Thank you. We got paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. I do feel like the two of you have really great energy. There is a lot of flirtatious energy as well between the two of you. Um, let's see, messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Any messages? Thank you. We have heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. I feel like this is just like the perfect message, especially if Scorpio or if you're a cross watcher, you're resonating with kind of guarding yourself, right? Having like this great chemistry with someone, but feeling like, I don't know if I can let them in. Um, so I will read this message here for you. This is from the Angels and Ancestors deck. Um, all of my decks are listed in the description if you are interested. But I feel like this is just the perfect card to come out here. So welcome with open arms, opportunity, opportunities to give and receive love. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears about trust, discern whom to trust, and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. Beautiful. They just said keep going, so I'm going to read the extended message, but I just feel like this is exactly what's coming through with this person there's just like this guard up right it's um there's a fear of of abandonment here of self there's self there could be wanting to move away from self-sabotage but there's just an energy of needing to open up the heart chakra here so you are love lovable and loving the energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time angels are swirling around you encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer they want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try to do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. I'm telling you, Scorpio. Beautiful. 
This deck is so, so beautiful. So let's see. Messages for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Look at that. No need to worry. No need to worry, Scorpio. And communicate clearly. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's about like, not just about boundaries and needs, but also being authentic and being open and saying, look, like if you feel like you're the wounded warrior a bit, I've been through some things. So it might take me some time to open up or this is what I need from you or this is what helps me feel more comfortable or more safe, right? Those are conversations that can go such a long way, but that I feel that so many people are afraid to have with one another, right? There's a, so much chemistry, so much passion between the two of you, but this person can see that it's more than just that. Um, yeah, let's see if there's any messages for you here, Scorpio. Thank you. A time for healing. So there's that hermit energy coming out twice, like really taking that time to, to think and reflect. Thank you. A personal issue reaches resolution. Cancer energy. So let's see, messages for Scorpio. Whoa, right away. <clears throat> we have truth be told, number 14. They said, turn it. Okay. So I will read the upward message then. <laughs> it landed like this on my lap. So I just picked it up, but they're telling me to turn it um, upright because in this deck, there are uh, protection messages which come through if the card is upside down. But when it lands on its side, it's hard to know which way I was supposed to pick it up. So let's see. People tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they have to say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in a heartfelt, open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. Thank you, Spirit. I see why they're telling me to turn it up because that's literally what was just coming through just now. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, I just love when Spirit just confirms the, the messages that I'm receiving through the different cards. It just, um, it's really, how do I put that? If you're a reader, you know it just it's it's a feeling you can't really describe. It just feels like you're really tuned in to spirit, you're in alignment. It just it feels really good. I know that's not a great word to describe it, but thank you, spirit. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, um, these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, license plates, take it as it resonates postal codes I just heard. Um, but if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have M, O, O again, Z or Z, E, H, the number four, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Scorpio, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy, love and light.